as you can see here, we have ticker CX with the old yellow lines. If you know, you know. I'm gonna make a few adjustments here and then we'll talk more about it. Okay, so as you can see here, we have ticker CX. Uh, this in particular ticker, we've seen run the lap multiple times. Um, currently, it is at a resistance. Main resistance being this monthly 180 moving average. This was talked about in the Discord as a potential short. It might even be in a prior stream. Um, that being said, I don't think I highlighted it, so it might be hard to find. Currently forecasting a move of roughly 73% to the downside, of course having already made some of that move, confirming our analysis, but an, an additional potential 68% could take a while though, could take a year or two, three maybe, but um, yeah, quite bearish, not the worst entry, CX, let's look at their profit margins again we got the downward 
slanting orange profit margin line. Um, in 2017, they had a profit margin of 4.57%. In 2018, they had a profit margin of 3.82%. In 2019, they had a profit margin of 0.67%. And then in the year 2020, with corona happening, they actually went negative. Not not what you like to see. Uh, they were negative by 10.96%. So basically negative 11% profit margin in the year 2020. Not good not not good for them not good these analysts expectations are higher than they've ever been um, so harder than they've ever been to meet no dividend yield rsi peaking out as you can see starting to point down that's bearish um that's sticker cx um Again, if you don't already, make sure to visit my website, uh, ethanrent.com. You can buy some merchandise there. You could also join our Discord. The Discord is the best way to get a hold of me 24-7, seven days a week. If you have any questions or need any assistance, you can get a, a hold of me in the Discord 24-7, seven days a week. Um, SK3 Green. Yes, uh, bear on CX. We're definitely not buying CX at its current price. Uh, if you did want to go long on CX, you'd be getting in at that $2 range, not necessarily the $7 range. Makes for good support. Again, it, it's starting to depart, you know. If, if this was a ship, right? The flag was quite clear. Let's look here. So as you can see, the monthly 180 moving average has been acting as a resistance for over a decade now. Um, your main entry would have been when this line broke. It looks so photogenic, this this ticker. Uh, uh, honestly, it's a really good short if you got in at the right time. Um, this is the weekly, as you can see, the 20 moving average acting as it normally would, being a support on the way up, and then 20 moving average is now the resistance on the way down. So if you were to enter this position, you would be want to, you would want to be shorting every time it touched the weekly 20 moving average. Again, if you guys would like to see any particular tickers, feel free to ask in the chat, and I will be more than happy to cover those tickers for you.
And there you go, that's CX. Again, if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out EthanRen.com. Join my Discord. Thank you so much for the follow. I don't want to butcher your name. G-U-G-L-V-Y-D-A. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Again, make sure to follow if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the latest information. We're trying to get a schedule going, guys. We're trying to get a schedule going. Start with something like uh, every Sunday, you know. I'm thinking Sunday uh, weekly kickoffs. How's that sound, you guys? I'm thinking every Sunday we'll have a stream. And then I also release clips that you can go back and uh, search for a specific ticker and find videos for that as well. So make sure to check out the YouTube if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, you can find the clips there. I believe you get the clips are also on Twitch uh, right below uh, DVODs. So make sure you check those out. What's next? What's next? 